European welterweight title on the line. Sam Eagleton looks to defend against Muhammad Mimuni. This is for the European welterweight title. This is a breakdown and prediction by Mr. A right here on Double R T Boxing. Ready, ready, talk boxing. Now, Sam Eagleton is coming in on a four knockout winning streak. I believe he's what, 22 and three, something like that. 22 and three with uh, 13 knockouts. Uh, the Savage is gonna be taking on The Problem, Mohamed Mimuni. Yeah, he's 18 and two with two knockouts. So obviously you look at 13 knockouts out of, uh, for Sam Eggleton. Then you have two knockouts for The Problem, Mohamed. You know where the power probably goes, or is it just a style of fight? So you never, you can't really tell on what the numbers are. So you have a uh, Muhammad is a southpaw. Like I said, he's coming on a seven-fight win streak. Um, the problem versus the savage. Let's get into the breakdown. Thank you for your support. Now uh, the feet and legs. This is how we do the breakdowns right here with Mr. A on WRT Boxing. If you're not aware. Start from the bottom of the fighter and we work our way up. So feet and legs. The challenger, Muhammad, he's more of a keep you, keep you at bay fighter. He wants to strike in and out quick. So he relies heavy on his legs. He doesn't want to bang. He doesn't want to be in an inside phone booth. He's happy with maybe one or two shots and getting out. So he he needs his legs to be fresh. To go in and out, hit you and spin out. He needs his uh, feet to be quick, to dart in and out. So his legs is very important for him. As for Sam Eagleton, he, he is all about just wearing you out with pressure, constant pressure, throwing punches at you. So his legs and feet are just more about whatever his upper body can withstand. He just gonna keep walking and walking and walking. I really don't see him use any type of ring generalship, any uh, feet shift to make angles for his delivery of arsenal of punches. So I'm going to go with Muhammad on the feet for how he uses his quick steps to get angles when he does be on the inside. He do a quick little shift, get off a shot, skate away, or back out. So his feet gives him the proper steps to get in and out quick. And the legs help him with the bounce of doing that and it's covering more ground if he needs to. Helps him on defense and his offense. So the legs definitely going to Muhammad. As far as defense, Muhammad gets hit quite, quite easy and too often for me. Um, he tries to do a catch and shoot, but he's not. It's not his timing is off a little bit, just like his punches. Sometimes his, his punching is off. Um, his defense is his legs. Basically, he needs to gap, jab with a nice one-two, one-two. And his legs gonna keep that gap. So his defense is all about his legs and his gap. Um, as for Sam Eagleton, hmm, his forearms. I guess he's a high guard walking you down, pressure fighter. Whatever he can exhort, it's his offense is his defense. And I don't like fighters like that. And the sad part is, I really do like. It. If, if you follow my channel from way back, go from the very start. Our first video was a uh, Josh Pretty Boy Kelly, and my second is a uh, Sam Eggerton. So these are the two guys I decided to start my um, channel on. I do like these guys. I, I like Sam Eggerton a lot. I, I like him. But I just, he's beatable. He has a flaw. His defense is his flaw. He's hittable, um, he doesn't turn well. You could turn them and you could reset them. So I'm giving the defense to Muhammad. 
now the punch now the arms whether it's punching power speed punching arsenal com combo delivery combos combination selection let's cover that right here on double rt boxing this is mr a thank you for watching this video and making it right here to the five minute mark thank you halfway thank you thank you thank you thank you for the support now the punches muhammad is gonna give you a nice right jab a fill out jab he he's gonna shoot the left he works it up and down um i think it's a i think he gives a harder jab when he's jabbing to the body the, when he does a left stab jab um, he he aims a lot for a check left hook but his timing is off timing is off just like his catch and shoot defense like he end up like wrapping it around your head a lot but he goes for it, he goes for it a lot uh, his body game is suspect because I said he prefers just a one to you keep keep the distance and and just move around now his his body game his hooks are pretty good it is he doesn't sit down on his punches enough to deliver the power he's probably going to need to keep Eggleton off him that's why he only has two knockouts out of 18 well out of 20 fights he only has two knockouts he doesn't really sit on his punches. That's what I said numbers are kind of hard to always judge a fight on you got 13 knockouts versus two but Muhammad don't sit on his punches to generate knockout power but he hits you can tell when he throws he he hits good he he hits you enough to get you that respect you know do you think Mayweather could have got some knockouts if he really wanted to now for Eggleton, the government, I'm back to um, Muhammad. Love a good one to a good left uh, body stab jab, a mediocre check left hook. Um, his right hook is better than his check left hook, which is worse because he's a southpaw. Um, his body game, his hook, his jab into the body is good. His hooks to the body, his hooks are just a little, is not, is they're a little wide and. They're not timed well. They're a little behind. Now, as far as Eggleton, he he's gonna come forward with pressure, just all out pressure. He delivers one two after one two after one two. He has a good body game. He, his punches are delivered to hurt you. His inside game is about putting pain on you, whether it's uppercuts. Uh, hooks digging to your side he's going to try and get you out of there now the thing I don't see about Egerton is his punches are are coming at one speed it's go time baby it's go it's Egerton is a mission to get you out and you know he's, he's ranging he, he'll hit time you know like boom, 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 boom. once he starts going they just go you know there's no his five punch combination is going to be all the same punch there's really no i don't see too many setup punches in his combinations and the punches are delivered pretty good accuracy pretty good power i'm just saying if if you need something to work against you can time his speed he's not super fast you know so you can time it you can his combinations ain't too um not too many variations. It's either gonna be a, a three, four jab, one, two with a hook. And if he's inside on you, he's gonna go hook, hook to the body to maybe to an uppercut. So you can kind of time him, uh, make a pre-read on his punches. Now, as far as head movement, I'm I mean the punch. So let's go back to the. So punch variation, I'm going to go punch variation and punch combination. I will go with um, Eggleton. You know, they're repetitive, but they're more of a while. Muhammad is just a one, two, and a, a check, a left hook, basically. Um, 
the better jab, I think, is with uh, Muhammad. I think Muhammad has a better jab. Um, the better power. So now that, that's where it gets tricky. I like I said, Muhammad don't sell his punches to always generate that power, whereas Eggleton's feet are flat to generate power. But I'm going to go with Muhammad for, for for all his movement, his power, his punches got that snap. So I think if he has to sit down and have to get respect from Eggleton, I think he can do it enough to still have him move around. But I think he has enough, I think he has it to get that snap if he has to. And he's the problem. The problem versus the savage. Thumbs up if you like that matchup. The problem versus the savage. That's that's a damn good title. Now as for head movement, Eggleton is just high guard walking you down, no head movement. He's gonna punch his head in line. Muhammad gets hit a lot, but it's he he doesn't keep his head in a straight line. It's more of a you could you could be first on him a lot. You could you could you could outguess him. You could sp uh, speed him up. But still, just a head movement and slipping punches and throwing off the center line. I'm going with Muhammad. So I think he might be able to skip slip a couple of Agatson's punches and um, counter him. Now that breakdown leads me to think that um, the problem will be winning a couple early rounds moving around scoring some one twos on them an occasional check hook until Egerton pressure eventually wears them down and the body game comes in effect and Egerton probably stops him like in the eighth round that's usually what that's that's what I'm getting from the breakdown on this, you know, from I watched and what I what I see happening. But right here on Double RT Boxing, I'm going with I'm going against this breakdown. I feel like an upset's going to happen. I've been feeling upsets, you know, because the one thing that causes Egerton problem is someone with some good legs, and you got to have a, a good enough jab to get respect. From everything just rushing in, and if you saw Bradley Skeet, he did it simple. Gotta have the legs, and you gotta have enough power to stop him just from instantly rushing in. And I think Muhammad has the legs. He's pretty crafty with the legs. He ain't gotta be fantastic. Just enough to reset the slow-footed, heavy-footed Egerton. And that jab, I think, at one point or two, is going to prove to be enough respectful. And I think he's going to out, he's going to win this fight by you uh, split. I know it's going to be hard to get a decision at uh, as the uh, as the road warrior, but I think he's going to upset Egerton and get like a. Split decision, 115, 113. You know, I'm going with the upset and new European welterweight champion, Mohamed Mimouni. And I like Sam Egerton too. I really do. But, like I said, the breakdown, everything kind of favors him to beat Mimouni pretty convincingly with a knockout. But I think my, I'm going with the outside the box prediction on that one. I'm going to. I don't think the norm is going to happen. That's my video. Thumbs up. Thank you for your support. Thank you more or less. Thank you for your time. Um, hope you watched this whole video. Double thumbs up for that one. And um, stay tuned for more content to come up. Hope you like that. Please subscribe if you have not. Share this video with a friend, someone else. Tell them to subscribe. Help the channel grow. Mr. A is out. Ready, ready, talk boxing.